And uh, Lincoln Riley, Fritzy giving me the thumbs up, is uh, joining us on the phone. Uh, Lincoln, uh, good morning. Congratulations. How did you find out Oklahoma was in the playoffs? Uh, one of our coaches had it. We were getting ready to take off on a plane to go recruiting, and uh, one of our coaches had the show playing uh, on his phone. So, uh, yeah, we were all kind of huddled around the phone watching it. Nervous at all? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, kind of a... Yeah, kind of a strange nervousness. You know, as a college football coach, you want to, you always want to be in control. And you're at that point, there's something you feel like you don't have any control of. So, yeah, definitely some nerves there. Do you think the goal of the selection committee is to put in the four best teams or the four most deserving teams? And is there a difference in your opinion? Uh, I don't think there's a difference because I think it's, uh, you know, everybody you see what happens on the last weekend and the last couple of weeks. And that's always going to be what's fresh in everybody's mind. And I get that that has an impact. And I, and I do think that what we, you know, I think that us having a big 12 championship game, the quality team we beat certainly helped us, but I, I do think that we, we forget that it's a long season. You know, I mean, these games started back in September and, and it is about your complete body of work. So I do think, you know, that, how you play at the end is important, but what you do the rest of the season is really important too. And uh, so I think that's the goal of them, and I think they got it right. Yeah, I want to see these games this past weekend mean something. And if they don't, then we should expand to eight play eight, eight team playoff. Um, your thoughts on the Final Four and expanding it? Yeah, I, I'm like you. I think the games here at the end should certainly mean something. And and I think they, you know, several of them meant a lot. I think it worked out. You know. It was very positive that you had a lot of the, you know, potential contenders for the last last playoff spot or two, you know, playing very, very meaningful games here at the end. Uh, it doesn't mean it's always going to work out that way. <clears throat> I, I do. There, I mean, certainly there's going to be some positives. I mean, of course, if we were sitting here and we were number five or number six, you, you'd be sick and probably be more apt to say, of course, we need eight teams. But, you know, there's always going to be somebody right on the edge, you know, no matter how many you do it. I, I do think how you put it together with eight teams would be interesting, you know, cause you gotta, you can't lose the structure of the bowls and we've had to stretch it a little bit with this playoff to, to make it work. Uh, I, I do think eight teams potentially add some more scheduling conflicts. It would be tough. Would it be good for the game as far as just having a few more teams, a few more teams having an opportunity? I don't think I could argue with that side of it. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.